well, you look like you better be performing somewhere. Uh, <laughs> right? It's, you got an excuse to dress in these beautiful outfits. I'm very lucky tonight. I got a good excuse. So, so tell us what makes David so deserving of this award, personally though. Yeah. Pers David's the most incredible person, producer, human I, I've ever met. He's offered so much to the music industry, it wouldn't be the same without him. He's discovered some of my favorite singers. And I can honestly say, if, if David didn't create these iconic records and didn't, hasn't, didn't do what he did like for all of his career, these masterpieces, I wouldn't have probably picked up a microphone to sing. He's inspired me a lot. He's written, produced some of the best records. And, um, and discovered the most incredible talent. So yeah, I, I'm super excited to be here. I'm pinching myself, I'm nervous, I'm excited. That was, that was gonna be my next question. <laughs> no, it's just, it's, it's really like, it's a humbling moment. I Since I was a kid, you know, I was raised on Whitney Houston and Celine Dion, and those are the songs that made me want to challenge myself. And I was like, I remember I would sit in my basement and sing all by myself until I could hit every single note. And it took a while, it took a lot of practice. But I knew. Well, we've heard you sing and you perfected that thing. Thank girl. you, thank you. But you know, to be here tonight honoring David is an incredible moment for me to be here for him. And, and, and I'm, I'm honored and humbled by it. And I'm excited. I'm so excited. I can't. I can't. So what do you do with those nerves when the person has worked with the people that inspired you the most? I mean, again, it's a pinch me moment. Like, I'm like, how am I here? This is like, ever since I was a kid, I would watch him on Oprah and I'd be like, how do I get with that man? How do I work with him? How do I, how do I make this happen? And then, you know, luckily I was on American Idol and that's opened a lot of doors and I got to meet David and work with him before and uh, we connected and he's, he's great. He's such a loving man. He's so generous to everybody. And, and he really makes you feel like family. And, and that's, I think, one of his best qualities. Well, the American Idol, speaking of that, is, is coming up. What's some advice you got for those, you know, who's going to audition for the show? I, the ride. Hey, that ride is crazy. <laughs> but um, just for me, I wish I would have absorbed it more and not worried as much and just really sat in the moment and just relish in that moment. I was very, it's a very nerve wracking experience. I was 21 years old when I went through the process. So I would say, I wish I could have believed in myself more then. I would really say to the new contestants and aspiring singers on the show to believe, just believe 110%. If they tell you no, it took me five times before I made it on the show. Five times. I started auditioning when I was 16. You have to be persistent, have a lot of perseverance, and you have to keep going. No matter, you have to you have to take that constructive criticism and use it to your advantage and work and get better. But believe, be your biggest fan, and be kind to everybody. Say that one again. Be kind to everybody. Because <laughs> you never know when you're going to run across somebody again. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you don't burn any bridges in this business. <laughs> Amen. Well, well, what are you going to be singing tonight? Tonight I'll be singing um, All By Myself and The Power of Love. Ooh. Well, congratulations, you know, just being able to be in this moment. Because this is another moment for you. Thank you. you yes, I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be great. Right. Have a great night. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure you're to meet you too. Oh, you too. Studio Q Show, now you know.